Be off, Reeker. Our Kadok refuses to see you. Now go! Before I gut you. The Ard needs to hear what I have to say, my friend. It is imperative that we speak. Well, good to see you, my friend. I could use an ally in this desolate place. The Grey Host has turned his attention upon the Reach, but the local ruler refuses my help. This Ard Kadok. Self-proclaimed ruler of the Reach. He rarely ventures out of Understone Keep these days. I've come to offer my assistance, but he refuses to listen. An alliance of vampires, witches, and werewolves bent on slaughter and conquest. With your help, we may save the Reach yet. While I continue to exert diplomatic pressure, I need you to find information the Ard will consider valuable. Something can... Reach folk deal in bargains. They respect strength and skill, and they believe in... If we're to stop the Grey Host and help the Reach, we don't have a choice. At the very least, we need his resources and support. Remember, remain respectful but wary when dealing with Reach folk. They don't suffer long speeches, not even short ones. This Grey Host is somehow connected to the army that ravaged the land in the First Era. Like their ancient counterpart, I assume they seek to conquer and destroy. Yes, so my ward Fenorian has told me, which is even... No, of course not. I won't... Didn't you hear? You and that fancy bastard aren't welcome here. Get, or I'll make a scarf out of your guts! We know all about the blood drinkers and the beast folk. We were dealing with them just fine before Ard Kadok called us back to Markarth. The... Some wilder witch has been stirring up the clans to the east of Markarth. Making trouble for Ard Kadok. here as long as you like. Yeah. I'm done waiting for Ard Kadok to muster the clans. Are you now? And what do you plan to do about it? Join those rebels? You wouldn't have the first clue about how to find them. That's where you're wrong. Connell says they're gathering in the eastern foothills. Well then, your head can wind up on a pike with the rest of them, you damn fool. Let's hit the trail. Nice haul. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn, which rebels are as bad as the damn vampires? Get, get away from me, you reeker! You think a rich warrior with only one good leg can't cut you? Well, <clears throat> the grey host. Does it look like I've been bitten or clawed? It's the damn witch rebels. And they can't tell a reach folk from a monster any better than you can. They thought I, like a pack of wild dogs they were, kept shouting Arana, Arana as they bore down on me. I took an arrow in the leg before they listened to me. Before they... No, like ghosts these rebels are. I plan to return to Markarth and petition the Ard to let me take a war party out to find them. Storm on me. Right behind you, partner. Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain as people. Some are good, some are bad. Some give you gifts, others rob you blind. Yeah, my friend. Was your hunt successful? You couldn't have timed your arrival any better. Ard Kadak holds court as we speak. We'll never have... Orana. I have heard that name during my time here. Did it flee this city? With a grey host prowling the countryside. Well, that's three valuable pieces of information. I won't... Speak with the Ard Sentry. You'll need to convince her to gain an audience with Kadak. I think the information you uncovered about the rebels will be enough to interest the despot of Markarth. I'm lucky to have made it this far into the city. Kadak and his own...
You again? You dare to disgrace Understone Keep with your presence, Outsider? Do you now? And you want to share that information with Ard Kadok? You're certainly full of surprises, Outsider. Not yet you don't, but you will. Ard Kadok is likely to remove your head from your shoulders as listen to you. So talk fast, Outsider. What fool do I have to behead for letting you in here? You're not of the Reach or the clans. If I... The fancy elf, who won't take no for an answer, eh? Huh? Yeah, he should have made this offer earlier. News concerning the rebels is a beast worth skinning. Spies in my city. <laughs> Arana. I know that name. She's a honey-tongued fanatic who refused to bury her sword when I forged a peace with the Grey Host. She... Aye, they agreed to spare the city while they looked for some ancient relic. Dwarven, I suspect. They can have it. I couldn't help but overhear Art Caddick's voice it carries. Now tell me about the leader of the Witch Rebels. Ah, uh, therein lies the problem. Reach witches are experts at losing themselves in the many caves and copses that decorate the landscape. Actually, that task falls to you. That look on your face. I know curiosity when I see it. While I may not have been born and raised in the Reach, I have... Before you run off, tell me about your audience with Ard Kadok. Impressive. You accomplished more in mere moments than I've been able to do since I arrived in this savage land. Hold there, outsider. These hills belong to the Reach Folk Rover. Turn around and go back the way you came, or I'll have your nose for a trophy. Witch Rebels, huh? That's just a label applied by the oppressors, don't you think? Look, we have enough trouble with those Greyhose bastards and Caddock soldiers. We don't. You're a hunter. Truly. Sounds more like Caddock and his Keep Witch getting up to more mischief. You want to the stockpiles were spotted to the east and south. If you if I knew for certain, there'd be no need to have you go and take a look, would there? Probably supplies for their army. Though what Yeah. 
This one hates criminals, especially vampire criminals. This one, Tafel. 
Come, Harrier. Give me your measure. Tayfern told me about you, Harrier. You wanted to talk? Well, here I am. What will it be? A battle? Why does everyone insist on calling us that? Tayfern, remind me to come up with a better name when time permits. As for later, well... I guide this gathering of Ragefolk, if that's what you're asking. Of course she is. She's a vampire, after all. We tried to slay her twice without much luck. Quick as a spooked hare, that one, and twice as cautious. We'll have... The leader? Now that's a worthy bit of news. Bones and birds guide us well, but there's no replacing a cunning hunter. Go. The spirits will see you safely to Valthum, Harrier. After that, I suggest stealth and a strong blade. Overthrow Markarth? What in Namira's name would I do with all that dead stone? No. Cut extreme of being king. Oh, he has a true heart. In better times, he's a fine leader. But we face a lean season. We're... Be concerned, Radha Al Saran. Your plan proceeds. Kadik hangs on my every word, and soon Reach folk will fill Markarth like a larder. Excellent. With Markarth prepared, we need only claim the Ark Zan Keystone. Hmm. I'll make inquiries. Just remember our arrangement. Like you. I hate to be disappointed. You there, in the shadows. You can't hide from the Ashen Lord. Follow me, if you dare. There's fire in your veins. You, the thorn that caused me no small amount of irritation and solitude. You, you stand before Radha Al Saran and seek to understand his purpose. Who is this we you speak of? Certainly not the Reach folk. No, there is someone else. And I don't have to resist the urge to rip out your throat and gorge on your blood. I propose a simple arrangement. A truth for a truth. Excellent. Then by all means, ask your first question. That is a complicated question. 
A being as old as I can claim many origins. This flesh was born on the distant isles of Yokuda. That word holds little meaning for me now. Is it? Beyond the Sea of Pearls, peerless sword masters were as common as grains of sand. Even Precisely. After the conquest of Hammerfell, I wandered in search of new challenges. I found only one. Lecky. But I didn't win. I didn't lose, either. I could not accept a draw, however. The cold reality of my imperfection. That your ally. Are they a vampire? Interesting. A picture begins to emerge. I have no interest in conquering the Reach. I came here to make use of something very old. Very... Not when your purpose is worthy. I do what I do for love. Your honesty does you credit. Thank you. Do you have another question? As you wish. Know that this level of cordiality will not be repeated. There's something wonderful about wandering a city's streets with no destination. Welcome back, my friend. Tell me what you know. Your arrival is fortuitous, as I have only just returned myself. I sensed some deception, but her illusion is powerful. How else? You spoke to Rodda. Did he? No matter. If Rodda al Siron is here, our time grows short. It was only a matter of time before Rodda and I crossed paths again. Rodda al Siron and I. We have a complicated history. Not exactly. At least, not all at once. Yes, his bloodlust gave way to introspection, and introspection led to study. He was already vampiric salvation. And to accomplish this, he needed to break Molag Ball's hold over us and stop mortals from hunting us. I was. And even now, centuries later, I still carry that shame. Sentry board for sent word. The Grey Host is... I'll hear no more of this! Go! I want to talk to the Outsider. The Outsider returns? But are you a true warrior? Or a parasite like these damned leeches? <sighs> That's not what you are asked to look into. Still. It confirms my own suspicions about my own keep witch. Allow! I can count on three fingers the number of people I allow in under stone keep. <laughs> the rest, they come and go as they please. We grab a handful of hot coals 
and dance on a bit of straw. Ah, these coals burn, Rover, right to the bone. But if you drop even one, the straw alights, and the flames take all of you to Molek Ball. I'm going to sharpen my sword. And wait. If you and the noble plan to fight the Grey Host, I won't stop you. But remember, Markarth is more than Dwarven stones and higher walls. It's still begging! I should have the tongue ripped from your head and... You think I'm foolish to keep Lady Belaine close, don't you? We made a deal. We gather in the city and leave them free to find whatever bit of dwarven nonsense brought them to the Reach in the first place. The city walls are still our strongest play, Rover. Because I'm the art of Markarth! And she refuses to heed my commands! Look, ever Markarth's the safest place right now. That's a title given to me by outsiders. I use it to frighten the neighbors and... <laughs> Keep away the riffraff. I'm the Ard of... I've been watching, but Lady Belaine hasn't returned to Understone Keep yet. I went... well, that's some progress, at least. And farther than I was able to get on my own. Thank you. I'll talk to Kadok, then I'd like to make contact with Arana. Your investigations uncovered that Ard Kadok's advisor, Lady Belaine, is working with the Grey Host. What are you planning, Rodder? Investigations uncovered that Ard... With your warning, Ard Kadok can decide what to do with Lady Belaine's advice in the future. Rodder tried to use dwarven devices once, but nothing came of it. Interesting. As I toured the city, I met Nolivan. Despite occupying the ruins of their lost civilization, few Reachfolk want anything to do with dwarven devices. And so I shall, briefly. Kadok has a city full of Reachfolk to deal with, so I don't want to unduly distract him. Then... Yeah. 